So it's 2022. How's the real estate market doing so far? Let's take a look at that. Hey everyone, Shane Voris with EXP Realty, and it's time for another real estate market update. So Stellar MLS, which is the multiple listing service that I use that covers all of the Tampa Bay area and actually most of Central Florida, recently published statistics for December of 2021. Like with most of these market updates, the data that we're looking at tends to lag behind by just a little bit, so it comes out a few weeks after the end of the previous month. So our most recent data that we have to look at is for December of 2021. So how did the market stack up? Well, in December of 2021, again, for the stellar MLS coverage area, which is most of Central Florida, there were 15,844 active listings. That's a 49% decrease from December of the previous year, December of 2020. Back then, there were 30,950 active listings for sale on the market. Numbers for December 2021 were also down 11% compared with just the month before, that's November of 2021, when there were 17,861 properties actively for sale on the market. So again, like I've talked about in many of these market update videos, going back for the last couple of years, the inventory continues to drop. We see fewer homes for sale than we did the month previous or even the year previous. In this case, there was almost a 50% decrease in the active number of homes for sale year over year. Another important number to look at for the health of the real estate market and determining whether or not it's a seller's market or a buyer's market is also the number of active listings that become available in a given month. These are called new listings. So for December of 2021, there were 14,836 new listings on the market. So how does that compare with the year previous? In December of 2020, there were 14,752 new listings. So very little change year over year. How does that compare with the month before? Well, in November of 2021, there were 16,886 new listings on the market. So for December of 2021, we actually saw a decrease from the month previous. Year over year, there's relatively no change in the number of new listings. So that means that the rate that people are putting new properties up for sale, the rate at which homeowners are deciding to list and sell their homes, has remained relatively unchanged compared with the previous year. What about pending sales? The number of homes that are currently under contract. Well, for December of 2021, there were 18,490 properties that were under contract in the MLS. And that's actually up 3% year over year compared to December of 2020, when there were 17,971 properties under contract. Month over month, compared to November of 2021, there was a 12% decrease in the number of pending properties. But that's pretty normal. We do typically see a small decline in the number of pending sales in the month of December compared with other months of the year. What about sold properties? Well, for December of 2021, again, there were 18,829 sold properties. Not bad which is almost identical to the previous year. For December of 2020, we saw effectively no change because a year ago there were 18,854 sold properties, essentially the same. That's a lot of numbers, so what does that actually all mean in the real world? Well, it means that we're still in a very stable real estate market. We're seeing the number of new listings, pending sales, and closed sales stay relatively unchanged year over year. We've actually seen another big decrease going back to the first number in active listings that I talked about with almost a 50% decrease year over year, which makes it an even stronger seller's market than it has been previously, if you can believe that. A few other important numbers to keep an eye on for the health of the real estate market is the average days on market. So for December of 2021, the average listing was on the market for 21 days before it went under contract. This number has also decreased by 50% compared with December of 2020, when the average property was on the market for 42 days before it went under contract, so twice as much time. The other big number 
actually everybody's favorite number is average sale price. This is another number that we've seen increase pretty dramatically year over year. So for December of 2021, the average sale price was $406,017. That's up 22% compared with December of 2020, when the average sale price was coming in at $333,119. So that's a pretty substantial jump in the average price of a home that has sold. And in fact, that number for December of 2021 is up 5% over the month previous. So all of these numbers across the board point to the fact that we are still in a very strong seller's market. If you're buying a home, it makes it a little bit challenging, especially because the inventory is so low. If you have a home that you need to sell, especially if you're looking to downsize from a large home into a smaller home, you've never had a better real estate market to list your home and sell your home than right now. So make sure you capitalize on that. If you're planning to sell your property sometime in the next year or two, you might wanna get that on the market sooner rather than later. Will this change moving forward into 2022? It's hard to say. There are a lot of things that affect the real estate market, but we can only continue to have the best market ever for so long before something changes. So if you have any questions about the real estate market or any of the information that I've talked about in this video, please don't hesitate to contact me directly. My contact information is listed down below in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button down below. It really helps me out and I will see you next time.